G'day guys, welcome back to Red Trucks, my name is Jim. Uh, today's episode is New Arrivals, um, episode 7. Um, so yeah, got a couple of things, not much. The These two here you've seen before in a flea market uh, video, I'm finally going to open them today. Um, I've got some stickers in this envelope. And I've got some uh, little Corgi models in this box here, which I just got um, just a few days ago. Uh, this video was shot on April the 3rd, 2023. And so let's get into it. Um, we'll start off with just the uh, stickers in the envelope. Um, I'll just show you. You've seen these ones down here. See all these ones. Corgi. Oh, there's a dinky one up further. Diecast, uh, Matchbox, is a Hot Wheels. Uh, yeah, I bought them off a company called Red Bubble. Um, they're quite cheap. These are only a couple of dollars each for the smallest size. Um, if you buy four, oh, you just pull this off. If you buy four, you get a twenty-five percent discount. If you buy ten, I think it's a fifty percent discount. So yeah. So far they have stuck to this um, background pretty well. I'm quite happy with them, so I, I bought four more. So let's have a look at them. Why worry tactics? The fire went out, no one got hurt. So we all know who that is, don't we? The guy from uh, Mad Magazine. Not sure of his actual name. Uh, yeah, there's that one. Then we got uh, this one, American La France, fire engines, aerial trucks, water towers, hand fire, ex hand fire extinguishers, founded in 1845, chemical engines. So yeah, it's a, like an old style uh, sticker. I thought it looked good on the uh, black background. Uh, next we got um, the Trumpster, Donald Trump, he's saying make trucks great again. There was a few variations of his stickers uh, where he's saying make different things great again. I, I got this one, the trucks one. So yeah, that's number three. And the final one is probably my favourite one. First in, last out. Pretty neat that one, eh? So yeah, um, these all together, these four, because I got four in a 25% discount, um, these four plus postage come to about $13, which isn't too bad. This is the smallest size. Um, got nothing to show you the actual size, compare it with. But um, yeah, they're quite small, probably, probably three inches. Three inches by about two inches so yeah there's a medium size and a large size, size as well but I, I find the, the small size is big enough for me so yeah there's those um, okay so let's get opening some boxes so I got this at the last flea market I went to um, it's from the Corgi showcase collection fire heroes commemorating our bravest authentic replica intricate diecast details highly co collectible unique display stand oh. and we're looking at a dodge four times four forest fire rescue uh, no light bars or beacon lights which is a little bit disappointing it's from 2002 apparently uh, this is made in China. There's your barcode, Texas Volunteer Fire Service. I think that's a pretty um, generic back of the packaging. I think it's on all of them. The same thing. Yeah, it's the same thing. And so there's no point reading that. And we've looked at these before. 
wonder if I show you different ones on this one. No, it's the same four. So, okay, let's get the old butter knife and um, get this package open. For some reason, I've actually um, got a lot of Corgi models lately. Not sure why. Not sure what that is. Does that lift up? Yeah, I'm not sure why. The brands seem to come in like fits and starts. I'll get a, I got a heap of Amacoms once, and then heaps of Del Pratos, and uh, I got a couple of Code Trees. They come in batches. So the latest batch is the brand Corgi. I've just been getting Corgi after Corgi after Corgi. <laughs> So let's just pop him out. Yeah, it is a nice display stand actually. So it's a um, bit of writing here. See if we can get the model off and then we can read it. What's it held in with? Oh, a little screw. Okay, hopefully it's um, not too tight. I actually didn't ex expect a little plinth or display thing like this. My previous corgis didn't have this. Luckily it um, seems to be coming off. I hope it's not one of those screws that you keep turning and turning and turning and it doesn't come off. No, it came off. Okay, I remember how this all goes back together. So what's this little plaque say? Produced, oh you can read it, I won't read it to you. Ah, oh, Korean War. Yeah, I don't have many forest fire trucks. We call them bushfire trucks in Australia. So yeah, it's a strong little base there. Just keep all this packaging and screws and things together. Uh, okay, so let's have a look at the model. Let's have a look at the base first. Bit of weight to it. Not much on the base though. Nice treaded tyres, which are plastic. Texas Forest Service, some really small rotting. Does it say University? Texas University... Yeah, I can't make out the bottom bit. Maybe you guys can. Couldn't be bothered taking my glove off and zooming in. Uh, nice full-size spare tyre. The wheels aren't too bad. Nice decals. Texas Volunteer Fire Service. A uh, bit of detail. Where's my little pointer? On the fuel filling cap there. Round to the front, you've got the protective grill. Um, there's a radiator cap, possibly. Or maybe it's just a badge. Around to, I think, what would be the passenger side, because I think this would be left hand drive. Texas University, is it system? Don't know. There's a couple of tools there detailed up, an axe and a, a shovel. Round to the back, oh, there's another, there's another cap there. I wonder if it is actually a fuel filling cap, maybe not. A little bit of silver highlighting for the door handle. The rear doors. Um, little possibly lens tail lights. Yeah, I can't be certain. So a little gander inside there. 
Oh, there's not actually any windows on the back. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's actually any interior either. Let's have a look. Mm, nope, I don't think there's a steering wheel or a seat. There's actually no glass at all. <laughs> Yeah, zilch. Uh, what's that? No, that's the wheel. Yeah, there's no interior. Hmm. A little bit strange. No interior and no light bar or beacon light. But still, it's a, it's a nice little model. I've got a few of these Dodge 6x6 vehicles. And I think this is my first Texas Fire department vehicle. Pretty sure it is. Yeah. Okay, what's next? We got this um, Corgi Showcase Collection once again. Um, this one, some sort of pumper, but the sticker's been placed over it. I wonder if I can remove that sticker without. Mm. Here we go, it's a Mac. Mac CF pumper. Ah. I actually wasn't sure if it was a Mac or a Ford. So, yeah, packaging is the same as the previous one. So let's just get him open. It's probably got the same um, screw to remove as the, the first one as well. Oh, this little thing comes off. So what's this one say? Jersey City. 67. Huh. Couple of different horsepower options. Okay, let's put that back in. Oh, you get a nice little picture too at the back. Okay, let's get him off as quick as we can because this video is already into the 13th minute. Give him a quick clean. Once again, quite a bit of weight to it. Um, Basically all die cast except for the hoses and ladders and wheels and things. Let's have a look at the base first. This one's actually silver. Max CF pumper. Very basic detailing. Jersey City Fire Department. Engine. Usually has an engine and a number. This one doesn't. So you've got a couple of nice lengths of pipe, all the connections to where you connect the hoses into here and all the dials and gauges. The wheels are pretty basic. They didn't actually tell us the scale of these. But I'd be saying it's probably 176, 172, something around there. I like all the silver trim around the, um, the bottom of the vehicle and around the front uh, wheel arches. There's your front. The lights are painted. So is the um, grill. 
pretty basic light bar on top I must say just a painted bit of plastic I think they could have at least put a clear glass there it's one of those ones where the cabin is semi semi open I've got another uh, another model similar to this with a similar setup with that cabin uh, there's your ladder there on top you've got a couple of hose reels and all the length of um, lengths of hose all packed on the top neatly a couple of um, storage compartments at the rear no light detail at the rear they are Julie's um, plas plastic I think these feel rubber these ones could be soft plastic or rubber I'm not sure let's have a look in that little compartment so that sort of just um, diamond plating houses the engine or gearbox what would it be probably the the engine then there's a couple of seats next to it if you can see a couple of little black seats i believe so it wouldn't be too comfortable sitting next to that metal encased around the engine I think you'd get a bit of heat from that. The interior, this one's actually got a steering wheel, yeah, and a dashboard, so that's that's good. It's got seats, single seat, and a bench seat for probably two other people. So you can probably get three in the front and two in that rear section. Yeah, but the light bar is a bit disappointing. Look at that. Got a couple of air horns. Surely they could have done better with that light bar. But I'm quite happy with this model. Uh, it's another yellow one for the collection. As Johnny V commented a few videos ago, ago it's starting to become yellow trucks, not red trucks. Because... Um, I put out a series of yellow videos with the Caterpillar construction vehicles and there's a yellow tow truck and now there's this. So yeah, it's a bit like that. Yellow trucks, red trucks. So that's a nice one. I'm quite happy with that. I'm going to put him down here. Actually, i just push these back now. And the stickers over here. Place a few around. Yeah, there's another one there somewhere. Okay, so let's open this box. Um, I found this seller on Gumtree. I've spoken about Gumtree before. It's a local selling platform. And this woman was... Uh, this is the same woman I bought the Shinzai Chemical fire engine off a few videos ago uh, she was sell selling a heap of Shinzai models construction stuff and then she started selling um, Corgi stuff so she I'll, I'll, um, I'll edit in the Gumtree advertisement uh, about somewhere just here or, or maybe half the screen yeah I'll put it in so you can read the, the ad for it she had about Oh, I don't know, 40 or 50 little corgis for sale and I just picked out all the emergency ones. Um, there were a lot of cars as well. You'll see the ad yourself anyway. So yeah, the packaging's um, not the best on these. She did tell me that and I said, yeah, I'll still buy them. Okay, Jim, what are you doing here? What is this? Another last time she posted a box, she sent it sent, sent it in a a Jim Beam box. This one's a a New Zealand wine box, so she must drink a bit. This actually came in what was it? It was about two or three days. I was amazed. It came so quickly. So here's what we have. 
bit of rubbish to chuck it on the floor. A bit of debris on my nice black background. Okay, I'm just going to pull back a bit and go down a bit so I can put the box on the ground. Okay, what do we pull out first? Let's pull out this police car. So yeah, look at that packaging. It's a bit beat up. I'll probably end up putting these in those um, clear uh, plastic uh, self-assembly boxes I bought. Because yeah, there's no point keeping these. Doesn't tell you much. It says a Buick Police J60. Uh, what's this say? Is there a date? Yeah, 90, uh, 1984. Made in Great Britain. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm just going to destroy this packaging. Straight away, it's quite light. What's it say in the base? Patent, Corgi, Buick Regal, made in Great Britain. Sticky stuff. It doesn't say a scale. But I, I guess it's similar to a, a matchbox or a Hot Wheels. Um, just going to pause for a sec. Sorry about that. Yeah, I just wanted to grab a little... Um, a little 164 model so I can show you the um, the scale comparison I'm just pulling sticky tape off my glass so we've got the old um, what was the McLaren F1 yeah GRX 57 I've used this in previous videos just something I found on the street one day so take this as a 164 so it's pretty pretty close the wheels on the police car, if I can get that sticky stuff off. <sighs> yeah, looks a bit smaller actually. Yeah, I'd say these corgis are a uh, slightly smaller scale. Could be 176 or something. Because this is a this is a three inch model apparently. So yeah, silver interior, which is uh, disappointing. Light bar is not that good either. The black paint is like in a matte finish. But considering it's from nineteen eighty four which is almost, is that almost 40 years? Yeah, almost 40 years. Uh, it's not too bad. The uh, paintwork there isn't so good, is it? Look at that. Uh, yeah, I, d I don't collect police cars, but she was doing a special deal for um, about $5 each. Or you could get five for twenty dollars. So I picked out five. So these worked out four dollars each. All right, let's open a uh, fire vehicle. This box isn't as bad, but I'll probably still throw it away. Um, I'm guessing this is 1984 as well. Yeah. Oh, the ladder came off. Yeah, this is the old earth fire truck. Earth fire tender. There's a patent. It's a few numbers which don't have a scale. It's made in Great Britain. Not going to bother with the interior. Twin beacon lights. Let's put the ladder back on. There's a damn sticky... T keeps appearing. Man, that's annoying. Okay. 
Yeah, pretty basic detail. Not much to really look at. A couple of fire extinguishers. The wheels are pretty unrealistic. But it's... Um, I remember this model from my childhood, so it's good to have it. Alright, let's move along because we're up to 25 minutes already. How about another fire truck? We got the Simon Snorkel. It's an 84, yeah, these are all 84. Again, the packaging not really worth keeping. All I'll do is uh, put these in a plastic. Oh, that's even torn, look at it. Put them in a plastic box and uh, put a sticker on it with the date of manufacture and. Uh, the name of the vehicle, and then I'll, I can throw this box away. There's the snorkel appliance. Um, still works fairly well, considering it hasn't got any like hydraulic um, jacks in it. A little the bucket moves as well. Tilts. What's on the base? Simon Snorkel Fire Engine. This is a Whiz Wheels. Whiz Wheels? Oh yes, I can see the difference. Whiz Wheels, Standard Wheels. Not sure what sort of truck this is. Oh, it's an Earth. Another Earth. ERF. Same as the, um, the first one. Or similar anyway. The lights look different. Yeah. ERF, I wonder if they're still in business. A bit of diamond plating. Very basic detail, shutters. A couple of little, um, what do you call them? The um, uh, stabilizers there and there. The cab, I'm not going to look inside. There won't be any steering wheel of that. Com storage compartment at the back. Looks like the white plastic has faded a bit or discolored. But for four dollars, not complaining. It's um, it's worth four dollars for sure. Right. Okay. I'll save the last till best, in my opinion, anyway. So what do we got here? This is a limited edition, apparently, produced exclusively for Avon Insurance PLC. You guys in uh, England probably heard of Avon Insurance. Uh, is it 84? Yep. So let's uh, rip this one open. This, this packaging is actually not too bad, but the, um, the tabs, once you rip them open, they don't close properly again, so not really worth keeping. Yeah, I like tow trucks. I've got a few. So this looks like a Ford, is it? Yeah, Ford Transit Wrecker, made in Great Britain. Again, no scale. It's possibly got the whiz wheels. Yeah, it's got the whiz wheels. The um, apparatus um, goes up slightly up and down. Great big hook on it. As you can sort of hook it up like that. Again, there's a scale comparison with the, the McLaren. Yeah, I don't think these are 164. More like 176, I'd say. But these are, I'd say, pretty close to mint condition. No flea bites. Yeah, so there you go, the Ford Wrecker from Avon Insurance. Alrighty, now what I consider the best of the best is the Range Rover Mountain Rescue. Uh, is it 84? 
Oh, there it is, 84, yeah. Okay, packaging again, not worth keeping. It's kind of cool to think no one's opened this since 1984, almost 40 years ago. I'm the first. So I wonder how many hands this has passed through before it finally got to me. Okay, let's take a look. Mountain Rescue, it's got an interior on right hand side, right hand drive I mean. All the decals are intact. A roof rack with some equipment, spare wheel, looks like a toolbox. Nothing opens, nope. It's in there, just some seats, I think. Seating, yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool. The old Mountain Rescue. Corgi Juniors. I wonder why the others don't say Corgi Juniors. Because they're all in the same packaging. Hmm. Not sure. Okay, wow, it's gone over 30 minutes. Um, sorry about that, guys. I know we don't all have long attention spans. I think most of my videos, the um, viewing length is about three minutes. So I don't blame you guys for doing a bit of fast forwarding. Okay, let's uh, just clear up the mess a bit and put these in shot. So that's today's new arrivals, episode 7. Um, not a heap of stuff, but it is what it is. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Definitely leave me a comment. Um, yeah, just tell me which one you liked the best, maybe. For me, I think the yellow Mac was my favourite, this one. But everyone's different. Okay, guys, have a great day. Uh, see you in the next episode of Red Trucks. Bye for now.